Hi. Um, so I am in Nam on the land of the Wurundjeri people. Um, and I thought I would show you a bit um, about my everyday life during stage four lockdowns. Um, it's actually a beautiful day outside, so I'm spending a lot of time out here today. Um, I moved to Nam about a month ago, um, which is just before stage four kind of kicked in. Um, but I'm really, really lucky to have a really wonderful house to live in. Um, I have a studio space um, in the house, but I've been spending a lot of time in the living area. Um, I think because it kind of is more central, it feels like the heart of the home. Um, so here I have a bit of a weaving station set up um, in front of the TV where we've been binging a lot of TV shows, especially at night um, when you are actually not allowed to be outside. Um, so I kind of have everything I need. I've got um, kind of this little kit of supplies that I keep with me almost all the time. Um, the book I'm working with currently, which is this very strange compendium of um, Aboriginal words and place names, um, as if there was one Aboriginal language. Um, and I kind of use every part of the book from the cover, which kind of forms the base through to the pages, which I've kind of worked out a process of turning into string, which then using bookbinding thread, I kind of weave back into these kind of forms of kind of cultural beauty and strength. Um, but I might walk you through to my actual studio room, which is at the front of the house, which is really great because it gets lots of natural light. Um, it's still being partially unpacked, but kind of in here, it has everything I need. I have a design station set up for my graphic design work. Um, and then I have kind of art supplies in here as well. Um, and kind of really importantly, I have all of the books that I use for my practice. Um, so kind of I have started developing this incredible collection of, of secondhand books, which I do use. Um, at the moment, I'm really interested in using Aboriginal word dictionaries. Um, I'm really intrigued by the listing of Aboriginal words, um, you know, it, as, as one Aboriginal language when I think it's fairly commonly known now that there were over 250 Aboriginal languages with over 850 dialects. Um, so to see them kind of listed with absolutely no reference to who we were as individual um, groups or, or, or where our connection to land was is, you know, there's a lot to respond to with that. So I've been working with those a lot. Um, but yeah, I think kind of that's a little bit of my everyday life. So thanks for hanging out and I'm really hoping the community can down here can stay safe and um, kind of we start to get better and, and, and things, things will open up eventually. So thank you so much for hanging out. Okay, bye.